Oh yeah, Cartagena, Colombia. You're gonna love it, folks. Let's check this beautiful city out. What's up guys? So today we are in Cartagena, Colombia. Yep, that's right. And you know what? Because I don't know where the hell I'm going, I'm just going to kind of show you guys around. Could be right, could be wrong, but the place is beautiful. And today happens to be Colombia versus England in the World Cup. It's going to be crazy town. Everyone's got their yellow jerseys on. I root for England, but damn, today it's all about Colombia. So guys, Enjoy Cartagena. Wish I could be all super specific and what to do, but hell, I'm learning the ropes myself. But I thought I'd show you. So enjoy. Let's do this. Right now, I'm in Centro, and uh, in one of the many city squares. Right now, it's a little quiet here in this particular one, but just around the corner, there's some more packed areas. But again, it's a beautiful area, very historic, um, great architecture, very, very colorful, I love it. Um, and just a fun town to walk around. There's little places in every nook and cranny. Um, some places, by the way, do not have AC. Some places do. I just went to an amazing little uh, spot for lunch. No AC, like a sauna in there, but my God, the food was good. So um, yeah, let's tour around a little bit more. It's almost time for the, Eng for the England Columbia match. It's gonna be fun. So right now I'm in Centro, um, which is the old historic walled area. You got big old cannons, all fun stuff like that. And then uh, behind me, you'll see these huge buildings. That's Boca Grande. It's like the Miami of Cartagena. It's like big modern buildings, avenues, very family oriented. I was there the other night. Lots of cool places to eat. Um, it's not like a hot, hot spot like uh, Miami but it's kind of built that way so future reference if you're in town check it out so guys just a heads up when you do come to Cartagena be forewarned it is hot as balls during the noon time so it's not even noon yet and man I'm used to some NYC humid summertime but here, you're gonna wanna have some place to hang out on the beach, at a pool. I don't know, figure it out, but definitely have some nice ice cold water at least. It is hot. So guys, right behind me is Cartagena's famous Cafe Del Mar. It is the place to chill during sunset with some adult beverages, maybe some friends, or hell, go hand solo like me. Who cares? But it's really cool. I'm here about mm, seven hours before sunset, but I just want to show you the place during the daytime. It's uh, on the edge of uh, the walled city. Um, it's really cool, plenty of seats, um, highly recommend it. At least one night, you don't have to do it every night, but it's great. A lot of tourists, of course, but it's beautiful and it's popular for a reason. Those sunsets, nice.
Oh, quick fashion tip for you guys. So, if you're in Cartagena, a guy, it's cool to wear shorts, but if you're near like Medellin, where I was a few days ago, do not wear shorts. You'll stick out like a sore thumb. Just don't do it. Oh, by the way, Cartagena, really touristy as far as just a lot of tourists. You feel very safe here. There's no safety concerns. So feel free to, uh, you know, hang out with your wang out if you want. It's all good. All right, guys, enough of this showing you around Cartagena crap. It's about to go down. Colombia versus England. I'm gonna check it out at the Clock Pub behind me. I was there yesterday for the Brazil-Mexico match. Damn you, Brazil. Anyway, it's gonna be fun. I may not be able to continue the rest of the video because I'm probably gonna be drunk. See you later. restaurant I like is called Restaurante Konokoro. Very small, kind of actually big hole in the wall. Super, super cheap, inexpensive, and delicious food. Be warned, there's no AC in there. It can get quite hot, if you know what I mean. But damn, food is good, and did I mention it's crazy cheap and delicious. So now I'm gonna take you to the Getsemani neighborhood. It's kind of known to be the up and coming cool little neighborhood. It's all right, like it has this cool little restaurant stuff. It doesn't really, it's not that different from the rest of Cartagena, but um, yeah, I think you'll like it. Show you around. Now, a restaurant that I researched before my trip was La Mulata. It's definitely worth a trip, either for lunch or dinner. Specialized in seafood, oh, so good. And you gotta get this coconut frozen lemonade. Oh man, it is to die for. Go, just go. So now we are going to check out the Boca Grande area of Cartagena. Like I said earlier, it's kind of like, feels like the uh, architecture and so forth, Miami Beach. It's got its main strips, a lot of families walk around, have dinner, lunch, all that fun stuff. Um, and I'll show you a little bit.
Now, I'd be absolutely crazy not to tell you about Blue Apple Beach. It's about 30 minute boat ride off of Cartagena and I'm sorry I didn't take more video of the actual spot, but it's really cool. Check them out online, Blue Apple Beach. Amazing service. The food was outstanding, great, just chill beach. Love it. Please go. Quick day trip. You'll love it. Well, hey, I love showing you guys around Cartagena. I hope you enjoyed the city. It's a great walkable city. Lots to do, lots to discover. Um, I think you're going to have a blast. Go to all my subscribers. I say thanks, and please tell your friends. Later. Until next time, guys.